Few people have been able to thrive and succeed in the midst of so much pressure and tension and responsibility as Joe Biden. Mr. President. Over 50 years, the LBJ Foundation has convened this symposium to reflect one of the crowning achievements, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, a defining moment that has since opened doors of opportunities for all Americans. We must be clear, their work, our work, is not done. We do not celebrate these laws as part of our past, but as critical components of our future. Battling a weak heart, President Johnson defied doctor's orders to give a keynote address at a civil rights symposium he had convened to talk about the state of race in America. He had something to say, and he was determined to say it. We believe that all men are entitled to the blessings of liberty, yet millions are being deprived of those blessings, not because of their own failures, but because of the color of their skin. The reasons are deeply embedded in history and tradition and the nature of man. We can understand without rancor or hatred how this all happened, but it cannot continue. I share our founder's belief that the president must answer to the law. The president is accountable the exercise of the great power of the presidency. This nation was founded on the principle there are no kings in America. Each of us is equal before the law. No one is above the law. And for all practical purposes, the court's decision almost certainly means that a president can violate their oath, flout our laws, and face no consequences. The bipartisan commission I convened analyze various term limit structures. Based on their report, I believe the best structure is the 18-year term limit. That would help ensure the country would not have what it has now. Two years will commemorate the 250th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. That July 4th of 2026 will be a moment not only about our past, but about our future. Imagine that moment and ask yourself, what do we want to be? We can and must be protected and expand our civil rights in America. We can and must prevent the abuse of presidential power and restore faith in the Supreme Court. We can and must strengthen the guardrails of democracy. We must have to remind ourselves who we are. We're the United States of America. And there is nothing, nothing beyond our capacity. Nothing when we do it together. So let's stay together. And God bless you all. Lyndon Johnson, Lady Bird Johnson, and may God bless the whole family. Ladies and gentlemen, may God protect our troops. Thank you for listening.